Hi, it's Przemek here, the creator and designer of Metagrid Pro, and today I'm super excited to show you what's new in Metagrid Pro 1.6.8. So let's start with the new import flow. I've got a grid that I've received from our friend Richard, who is working diligently on our new articulation grids for various orchestral libraries, and I want to uh, drop it to my iPad. Right, so I'm going to use Finder and select AirDrop and select my iPad and my iPad reacts. And um, now I want to open it in Metagrid Pro. Metagrid Pro has received the file and tells me the grid has been received and I, will, and I can jump to the content manager to preview it, okay? I can do it later and I can preview it. So let's stop preview. And here I am, that's the new preview um, screen that have, we have added to Metagrid Pro 1.6.8. And what's there? We've got the uh, we have a grid preview, so you can have a glance what the grid looks like. Uh, then we've got the grid name, which is editable, so I can change it on the fly. And I've got the import destination, so on this level you're able to um, specify which profile uh, and which workspace you want this grid to be imported. Okay, so I've chosen Cubase and articulations. And also I can create a new scene for this grid. So basically when I toggle it, now when I import the grid, the grid will be created, the new scene will be uh, created as well, and the grid will be assigned as the primary grid for the new scene. So let's me, let me try, and I tap import. Here I am, Metagrid Pro automatically selected Cubase, automatically selected articulation workspace, and um, yeah, and there is the new grid done. Here I am, you can see the beautiful grid uh, that we will be able to use to control cinematic studio string buses in the near future. So that's the new preview functionality. Um, it applies to all imports, so when I select presets and I can select MIDI, then easily preview the grid before importing and see what it looks like and then specify the destination and um, uh, I'm ready to go. As you may already seen, uh, we've implemented some search bars into the longer lists. Uh, so first search bar it landed in the grid selector, right? So I can easily filter uh, and look for the grids uh, with a uh, particular string uh, in their name. So, um, and I can easily select it. And uh, that enables you to quickly find the grids. You've got lots of them in, in the workspace. And also the search bars are available now in the profile lists. So let me search for Cubase. Here I am, so I can easily select it. And I can easily select and search, for example, for violence. If you've got lots of profiles and lots of grids, you can use these search bars to speed up your navigation process in Metagrid Pro. And also, the search bar is available in all import screens. So when I, for example, want to check if there is the dedicated grid, uh, preset grid for, for example, photos, here I am, and I can easily um, filter the list uh, looking for particular uh, content. So these are the search boxes, right? Uh, search bars, very useful, and they will speed up your navigation flow. So I've received this beautiful grid from Richard and um, he's using some custom color schemes and I want um, to capture some of the colors. So um, I go to edit mode and uh, I want to capture the blue color and create my own custom palette based on, uh, on this grid. So I'm going to select the background color and uh, let's create the new um, color palette. So here I am, I tap plus so my custom uh, palette is created. Let me um, rename it. All right, here I am. And um, so there's a new button called Add Current Color. And when I tap it, 
if a new color is automatically uh, created and uh, then I can reuse it in my objects, right? So that's very simple. Again, I want to, for example, capture the uh, this yellow thing over here. And again, I've got to go to edit and I'm going to edit my palette that I've just created. So I tap the pencil icon over here. And again, I've got the uh, add current color button here. So I tap it and the color lands into the um, my palette. And then I can easily reuse it and uh, select uh, it from my palette uh, color set. So I think that you will find it useful. So what else? Um, now let me go to the icon selector and um, we've added some icons for Logic Pro. Uh, so all Logic Pro users rejoice because we have refreshed all the icons for Logic Pro. So now they uh, represent the latest uh, iteration of graphics uh, in Logic Pro. So that's nice as well. And the last new thing is the new button layout. This new layout will enable you to use the graphics with the text. Uh, so you will be able to blend uh, your custom or the uh, preset graphics with uh, your own labels. So let me show you what it looks like. So first I'm going to select the icon. Let me go to the symbols and there's the nice set which is called shapes here. So I'm going to select uh, this uh, thing and uh, I'm going to set the uh, background transparency to zero. So I don't, I want this graphic to be the button area. And then I'll let me go to text and um, so I've entered my button and I want to have another color for that. So let me choose the black one. Here I am when I select done. Here I am, so the uh, button has taken the shape of the um, graphics and I can easily put some text inside. So let me change it to something else. Okay, so the shapes. And now I want to have this one. Okay, and of course you can play with text size to make it uh, more visual attractive and that, will, that gives you additional flexibility while creating your own um, Metagrid Pro uh, objects. Um, so these are all the new things that come in Metagrid Pro 1.6.8. I hope that you will find them useful for the importing, for your grid creation and navigating between grids and workspaces and profiles. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.